Hello friends, welcome to this lecture. Myself, Amran Das. Now, I am going to discuss about Ruby laser. Ruby laser is a three level solid state laser. It was invented by Mayman in 1960. Okay. The experimental apparatus for the construction of Ruby laser is shown in this diagram. Okay. This is Ruby rod. Okay. Here, a single crystal of ruby in the shape of a cylindrical rod of about 8 cm long and 5 mm in diameter served as a lasing medium. Okay. Now, ruby consists of aluminium oxide okay, doped in small percentage of chromium oxide. Okay. The end faces of the cylindrical ruby rod are made optically flat and normal to the axis. Okay. With this face is partially silvered and this face is completely silver. Now, the fully silvered face completely reflects the light, whereas the partially silvered face reflects most part of the light but allows a small part of light to produce output laser light. Okay. Now, the ruby rod is surrounded by a cylindrical glass tube through which a coolant liquid is circulated in order to keep the rod cool. Okay. Now, the cylindrical glass tube is surrounded by a helical xenon flash lamp to provide broadband optical pumping. Light of wavelength 5500 angstrom is emitted from it. Okay. Now, ruby is actually a crystal of aluminium oxide. Okay. And in place of some aluminium, there are chromium ions, that is Cr3 plus ions. Okay. The energy level diagram of chromium atom is shown in this figure. Okay. This is the ground state, this is first excited state and this is second excited state. Now, here the first excited state E1 is a metastable state having mean life of the order of 3 into 10 to the power minus 3 second which is 10 to the power 5 times longer than the normal mean life of an excited state. And the state E2 is a normal excited state having mean life of the order of 10 to the power minus 8 seconds. Okay. Now, when the lamp is switched on, a large fraction of chromium atom in the ground state are raised to the excited state E2 okay, by the absorption of light of wavelength 5500 angstrom. Now, E2 has mean life of the order of 10 to the power minus 8 second. So, atoms do not stay here for long time. After a short period, they fall into the metastable state E1. Okay. Now, the metastable state E1 has mean life of the order of 10 to the power minus 3 second, which is more longer than the mean life of excited state E2. So, the atoms in this state E1 is goes on increasing and thus atoms in the state E1 becomes ultimately greater than the atoms in the state E0. So, population inversion is achieved between E1 and E0 state. Okay. Now, when a chromium atom in the metastable state E1 makes spontaneous transition to the ground state E0, a photon of red light of wavelength 6943 angstrom is emitted. Okay. Now this photon travels through the ruby rod and is reflected back by the silver faces. Okay. When this photon interacts with the atom in the metastable state E1, it forcefully makes that atom 
to fall into the ground state e0 okay so two photon of same wavelength are emitted these two photon they induce uh, further transition to give rise large number of coherent photons thus there is light amplification by stimulated emission okay so we get highly intense monochromatic unidirectional laser beam okay thank you for watching this video